Hello, class. Hello. Hello, class. Hello, class. Hello. Please, let's start uh, our class. Uh, class uh, let me begin by calling the register. Uh, Cleophas. Present. Zablon. Evanson. Uh, Dominic. Present. Jacqueline. Present. Good, good, good. Since all of us are present, uh, thank you all for coming for class today. We'll start our class right now. Let me share my screen so that I will begin, okay? Yes. Good, 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 good. good, good. Now, now, what we want to learn today is about, what learn today is about null type and definition type, type, type instrument. instrument. You are see, you are see, you are see, you are see my screen. No. no. Now we can see. Oh, you can see. Oh, you can see. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, you have now, got null, you have type null type and deflection type, and deflection instruments. type instruments. Uh, the objective uh, of the, the, objective of the lesson. lesson of the lesson. By the end of this lesson, end of this uh, lesson uh, uh, each and every one will be able to, be able to define, define null type, null type, and type, and type. type. They should be able, you should be able should to be able, explain, be able to explain the work principle of the null type, type instrument. And then lastly, should be able to the advantages and disadvantages of null type and deflection type instrument. Let's begin, Let's by, begin by defining, defining null type instrument. instrument. An instrument, an instrument in which zero or null indication determines the magnitude mm -hmm. of the measured quantity uh, is known as, known as null type instrument. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, it uses a null, uses a null de detector de which indicates the null condition when the measured quantity and the opposite quantity are the same. Okay. Uh, 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 such type of such type of instruments as high accuracy, as high accuracy and also and is also very, very sensitive. sensitive. Okay. Let's see okay. the operation. Let's see the operation requ uh, requirement for requirement null type, for instrument. Null type instrument. One. One, they require the need to be an effect produced by the measuring quantity. Number two, number two, opposing effect, opposing effect if value if are value are known. known. And then number three, and then number three, there need to be a detector. We detect the null condition. condition. A detector is a, a detector device, is a device which indicates which zero, indicates deflection, zero deflection, deflection when the balance when the condition condition occurs. occurs. Uh huh. Up to that point. Up to that point. Are you? Are we? Are we? Are we, are we okay. 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 If you are okay, uh, let's move on uh, to examples of a, of a null type instrument. Are you able to see my screen, class? Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can see. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, then Evans, uh, you can take us, us through examples of null type instrument. Okay. The ammeter, voltmeter, and pressure gauge. Oh, good, good, good. Those are the three examples of the null type instrument. Uh, let's look at advantages of null type instrument. Uh, number one advantage, the, uh, the accuracy of null type instrument is high. Uh, this is because the opposing effect is measured with the help of standard, which have a high degree of accuracy. The null type instrument is highly sensitive. This is another advantage. They are very sensitive. In null type instrument, the balance quantity is measured out. The detectors to cover a small range around the balance point, and hence it is highly sensitive. Good. Uh huh. Null type instruments require many controls before null conditions are obtained and hence it is not suitable for dynamic measurement. 
because in a dynamic measurement the quantity changes rapidly with time so null type uh, instruments are not suitable to be used in a dynamic measurement let's move to the next the net uh, deflection type instruments the deflection type instruments are instruments which uh, measure quanti the measured quantity produce physical effects which are uh, deflect on displays uh, the moving system of instrument uh, that is a uh, such kind of instruments are known as a uh, deflection type instrument okay uh, the deflection type instrument has opposite effects which oppose the displacement of moving system the opposing effect is so designed that the magnitude increases with the increase in deflection or displacement of the moving system which is caused by the measuring quantity are we okay up to that point are we okay up to that point we are okay Martino. yes <laughs> yes so we are happy yeah 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 if you are happy Cleophas, you can read for us the examples of uh, deflection type instruments Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now let's move to the disadvantages of our uh, deflection type instruments. Number one, uh, the accuracy of the deflection type instruments is very low, and uh, then their sensitivity is also very low. They are less sensitive, and then the value of measured quantity depends on the calibration of the instrument. Let's come to the end of our lesson by doing a summary. Uh, in our summary, we'll uh, look at the, uh, the what are the advantages of null type instrument. What are the advantages of null type null type instrument? Someone can tell us. Yes, Jackie. Yes, Jackie. Oh, okay. The advantages are they are accurate and they are. Density. Good, 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 good. Uh huh. Let's see. What are the disadvantages of deflection type instrument? Disadvantages of deflection type instrument. Yes, Edmondson. We have the density. Okay. Good, good, good. They are inaccurate. And they are also less sensitive. Good. Yeah. I see now the class you are you are you are, uh, you are cooperating in class and uh, uh, catching things. Yes. Now, lastly, I leave with an assignment. That is, uh, in your at your own time, you will discuss the classification of measuring instruments. Um, that is, uh, 20 marks. Uh, in our next lesson, we'll uh, collect the assignment. Okay. Yeah, those are the books you can use to, to refer I see the your assignment. Thank you. Let's Thank make you. Your assignment. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.